A few days ago I published a circuit about a test oscillator, say a dip meter, frequency meter, etc. etc. And this was the schematic. And now I've made it in a more or less definite way. That's here. You can see it here. And I will tell more about it. And perhaps interesting in the meantime, I have bought a mini frequency analyzer. So the tiny uh, spectrum analyzer. You can find that uh, on the World Wide Web. Uh, perhaps interesting to tell that there are also clones that, of this circuit that don't work properly. <coughs> anyway, uh, via Ali or other sources you can order the right mini tiny uh, spectrum analyzer and I will use that in my video. Also my scope, I don't switch it on now. Uh, Perhaps it also gives, say, um, certain spurious signals on the tiny uh, frequency analyzer. Anyway, so the circuit again. This is more or less what I published earlier. Nothing has changed, but I made it now in a definite way, like it is show here showed here and I will show the backside. Uh, only adaptation is that I made here at the output a 33 picofarad capacitor that goes to the scope. Say to decouple the scope much better when you study waveforms. Made with a BD139 interesting transistor can also work in high frequency applications and two BC549C transistors. Uh, I will give the link in the description to show the good properties, say especially the high amplification properties of these BC549C transistors. So let's look, uh, this was the schematic, let's look um, at how it was made in that definite way. So here we have the tuning capacitor here and there's a kind of plastic plate over it uh, because I did not want to, to it to be damaged easily. So with your finger you can set here the different uh, capacitor values between 50 picofarad and 10 picofarad. And you have to say do that at first with the capacitance meter. Say this one, I will give the link to the, that capacitance meter or you can use of course any other capacitance meter. But Many capacitance meters cannot measure in that very low range, say between 5 picofarad and 50 picofarad. And my capacitance meter does that job. Here is the bias oscillator. Here, this rod goes down to the potential meter of 25k. So you can set the bias of the oscillator. Here we set the sensitivity. Was also explained in, in an earlier video. Here the light emitting diode that uh, shows how sensitive the circuit is, etc. etc. So I will flip the circuit now. Here an overview. Uh, the date is always important, 25 July 2022. So, 
also for my archive. Uh, this is the how it was made. You can see that I've used here tin plate. The reason is that uh, we have to avoid as much as possible hand effect. And there's always some hand effect. Could be no problem. Uh, but tin plate is the best shielding. You can also use copper clad board to build this circuit on, say, I don't know what's happening on the background, but anyway. Uh, copper clad board, but copper plate has other, say, properties regarding the shielding. And here is how the circuit was made in practice. This is the test coil. And here is the bias potentiometer. Here is the potentiometer of 500, 500K that sets the sensitivity of the light emitting diode circuit. Uh, so, luckily uh, they are gone anyway. Uh, the 500K potentiometer that sets the uh, sensitivity of the detector here. This is in fact the detector. Here we have the detector. Here we set the sensitivity of the detector of uh, whether the oscillator works or not, strays out signals or not. Uh, the 9 volt battery, the on off switch and furthermore there's nothing more to tell. Important again the shielding at the front so to prevent the hand effect. The hand effect is now diminished very much and here I can set the, the trimmer by moving it with my finger and the say plate above it, acrylic plate is only there to prevent that uh, the tuning capacitor gets, gets damaged. Anyway, furthermore the whole circuit is very very easy to make. So switch on the scope. I don't like, say, the ventilator of that scope. That's a reason why I uh, don't switch it on immediately. Here we have the waveforms generated in this oscillator. And it's now on 52 megahertz. But when we look at the tiny frequency meter, we can also see that indeed here with, with point 1, that's here, 1 here, it is on 52 megahertz. But we can also see that there are more frequencies, this is more or less the ground frequency where the oscillator oscillates. But there are, of course, harmonics. The second harmonic, the third, the uh, etc., the fourth harmonic. And you can see that on that tiny spectrum analyzer. So, the most important thing is, of course, switch that. Uh, analyzer out and look what happens. So you can directly see that the oscillator uh, doesn't work, it doesn't uh, produce its more or less ground base frequency, it does not produce of course completely logical the harmonics anyway. Many harmonics and this is of course an oscillator that's free running oscillator, there's no filter at the output and that's of course also not the, the, the good idea 
because otherwise you cannot use such an instrument. This uh, instrument, anyway. So, let's switch on the oscillator again. Look at the spectrum analyzer. See all these frequencies popping up. I think this, the second, a third and more harmonics. I don't want to get in detail. It takes too much time to show what exactly happens here. But you can surely see that this oscillator works. Test oscillator works. And when you want to do, say, kind of serious radio experiments, this is more or less the good combination. Uh, I've published much more circuits, oscillators, many oscillators um, for shortwave, but now we are more or less on a higher frequency band. Say the frequency band that goes from approximately 20 uh, mega cycles up to approximately 160 mega cycles. Uh, that are, say, the frequencies that you can generate with the help of this dip meter, test oscillator, or whatever you want to name it. Thanks for watching. There's not so much more to tell. Perhaps I'm going to do in the future a few videos where I want to show how such a uh, dip meter can be used in practical circuits, in practical tests, etc. etc. So, again, uh, this part, the metal part here, acts as a kind of shielding for hand effect. Uh, and that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Take your own conclusions. Now I'm going to switch the oscillator off.